All right, so uh, me and Scout are at a different place that we normally go today. Um, I'm getting bored of all the little places I go around here, so I found a little little uh, nature reserve that we don't usually come to. I think I'm going to try to find some natural tinders today. I didn't bring a backpack. The only thing I brought was uh, my Swiss Army knife and my fire steel. So maybe I can find a little bit of natural tinders and get it on video, make a little short little video. This is going to be the first natural tinder I attempt. Um, I don't know what it is. It's some kind of grass. Long dead grass. So I'll gather a bunch of that and see how it goes. I'm sure this will work. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> One strike. I didn't even put it right into it either. There we go. So the dried grasses work good as expected. This small tree in front of me is going to be another a good candidate for the second uh, natural tinder. I don't know what it is. It's got these thorns on it. It might be a locust. I really have no idea, but uh, many know I have this theory about um, tree bark. When it looks, it's hard to get in the video, but when it looks like it does here, when it's rolling back, kind of like birch. Um, in my experience, all of the ones that look like that have oils in them and they will take a spark from a fire steel. So let me collect uh, a, as much of this stuff as I can and find somewhere to do it and we'll try it out. All right, this is that bark from the unknown thorned tree. going. Just got it in the wrong spot. There we go. We'll see how good it burns. Not too good. I didn't get too much of it granted, but it's not burning as good as the oak bark. Oh yeah, black smoke, yep. Not too bad. Cool, that's another one. Uh, I found a couple deer beds where the deers are laid overnight. Melts all the snow underneath them and you can see uh, deer prints there. Uh, deer, deer tracks. There's one there, one there. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a few more, yep. One, uh, over there as well. Oh, in there. In there. Nice. Pretty cool. Let's see what Scout thinks of them. Well, you can tell something was there, that's for sure. This tree is going to be the next uh, candidate. It's a trembling aspen, and its bark is flaking off like this. I really, really doubt, oh, there's ice on the back of that, that's not going to happen. I really doubt that this one's going to work, it just doesn't seem to have the right properties uh, to be oily, which is, uh, the oil is what makes it a good fire starter or tinder, but we'll try it. There's this piece hanging off right there. If it doesn't have ice on the back, you know it doesn't, we can try that one out. Like I said, I don't think this is going to be a good one. It might work. Uh, might not. It might work not just not as good as the other ones. But I've never seen Trembling Aspen uh, flake like that before. So I don't know how common it would be. It's embering up, it's not flaming. Mm. 
No. I'm gonna call that one a no-go. These are gonna be next up. Looks like a similar thing to Queen Anne's Lace. Might be cow parsnip, if that's a thing. I'm not sure. I, I've used Queen Anne's Lace and I know they work. These are a little bit more spindly than those, but we'll see. All right, this is that unknown weed. Could be cow parsnip or whatnot. It was going for a minute. There we go. Not too bad. Not the best, but not the worst either. Here's a dead aspen tree that I think I can get some punkwood off of. Normally I like to go for hardwoods for punkwood, but this aspen looks like it would have the right properties. We'll go see. Now obviously, as you guys know, this is going to be a different kind of tinder. It's going to be a ember extender or something that you get to ember up that you blow into flame with a tinder bundle, or you can blow it into flame with a bunch more punk wood. It works too. going pretty good. So then obviously, you, like I said, you would just blow that into flame with a tinder bundle, or if you crush up a bunch more of that punk wood, uh, you can actually blow that into flame as well. I learned that from the Iowa woodsman. Looks like Scout found a little hut. A little teepee style, or whatever you call that. That's ice breaking that you can hear. Everything's underwater. Is there a door? Ah. There we go. Well, that's different. It's cool to see people taking an interest in what we like, though. There's actually... A little bit of moss over here. I'm wondering if that'll work for a tinder. Only one way to find out, I guess. It might be a little too wet. It feels a little damp, but actually feels like if it were dry, it would go pretty good. I don't think I've ever tried this before. Yeah, it would go better if it was dry. This is uh, would be a very good tinder, I think. Yeah, it's a no-go, but it would be if, it, if I dried it. It's a hawk. All right, guys, I think that's the end of the video. We're on our way out now, so we'll stop recording. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If not, Oh well, see you later.